Hey guys, Famox here from Game on Your Face, and today we are looking at two of hockey's best snipers, Ilya Kovalchuk and Steven Stamkos. Here are the rules. I will play both players on 99 chemistry lines for 5 online games. They will not be assigned any boosts or a captaincy card. The overall grade of the player will be based on 4 stats. Puck skills, skating, shooting, and physical. Steven Stamkos Stamkos is slightly cheaper than Kovalchuk, averaging at 450k. I found Stamkos to be a very solid all-around player. He has the best shot of any player I have reviewed so far, surpassing Team of the Year Tavares. If you manage to find him open for the classic Stammer one-timer, you know what's going in. He's got a wicked clapper and a solid wrister, and they both fly with superb accuracy. What more would you expect from a 60 goal scorer? But his power doesn't come from his stick, it comes from his pure strength. Stamkos is a very strong player, and if you use his strength right, it opens a world of opportunities. Protect the puck along the boards, barge to the front of the net, or even throw a momentum changing hit. Stamkos can do it all, though his big frame may sometimes slow him down. Literally, because Stamkos is not the fastest skater. He's moderately fast but not blazing fast. And for a centerman, he doesn't have the greatest face-offs. I felt like he was okay on the draw, but probably not first line center material. So let's check out his overall grade. Puck skills. For puck skills, he gets a seven. Like I said, Stamkos is not the greatest on the draw. I mean, I didn't find him as bad as some people say. He was probably 50%, but that's not good enough for a first or second liner that may need to be up there to take crunch time draws. I also didn't find Stamkos to be a particularly good passer. He's better than most, but most of the time he's better off receiving the pass than sending it. Skating 7.5 Stamkos is a quality skater, great balance and decent speed. However, he doesn't compare to the fastest skaters in the league like Duchesne or Hall. And for a big man he's quite agile, easily making quick stops and turns, unlike Team of the Year Tavares or Player of the Game Ben. Shooting. He gets a 10. You will be hard pressed to find many players that can fire it better than Steven Stamkos. He has a supersonic shot that would make any goalie tremble. Clapper or wrister, Stamkos can get it off with heat and put it where you want. Pair him with a half decent passer and you have a deadly threat. Physical. He gets a 9.5. I knew Stamkos was a strong player, but I was surprised by how strong he truly was. He can go through multiple hits before he ever loses control of the puck, and can also send opponents flying to the ice. There isn't much that can shake him. I would compare him very closely to Jamie Benn in terms of his physical ability. This brings his overall grade to 8.5 out of 10, or 85%. That's an A. Stamkos is 100% the most complete player that I have used, and as you saw, there was a small list of negative things I had to say about him. He's also very versatile in the fact that he can play in any forward position, left, center, or right, whatever your team needs. So, if you're looking for a solid first line sniper that's strong in the puck and has a great shot, then Stamkos might just be your guy. But before you spend half a million pucks on a player, let's take a look at Ilya Kovalchuk. Kovalchuk is a big player, bigger than Stamkos at 6'3", 230 pounds and he knows how to use that size to his advantage. He is very strong in the puck and has a good body check. Very similar to Stamkos in this regard. He also has a good shot. Well, most of the time at least. His shot is very inconsistent. On top of his streaky shot, Kovalchuk is quite slow, which was one thing that shocked me the most. In previous years, Kobe was one of the faster players when I had him on my team, but now he would be my slowest. His slow skating and bad agility also affect his deking. If caught in a situation where you need to react fast with a deke, he will often lose the puck or get cranked. Puck skills, 6.5. Kovalchuk is labeled as a sniper, and there's a reason for that, because he's definitely not a playmaker. His passes are either too slow or too fast and have a high susceptibility of being intercepted. He's also a weak deker. Even though he has pretty good puck control, his deeks can sometimes be too slow and ruin its effectiveness. Skating. He gets another 6.5. I would say his speed is the same as Team of the Year Tavares, 
Not what I expected from Ilya. He's not just slow, he's an overall bad skater. He has poor agility and it affects his fatigue levels as well, which means you should expect sloppy slow turns and quick line changes. Overall, his skating department is just a disaster. Shooting. He gets a 7. When Kovalchuk is on top of his game, his shot is probably a 9. But unfortunately, he isn't always on top of his game. I found him to be very inconsistent and unpredictable. It's like he holds true to his Russian heritage, only playing good when he feels like it. Some games he's a god, the next game he's a peasant. Physical. At 7.5, this is Kovalchuk's best attribute. Just like Stamkos, Kovalchuk is very hard to knock off the puck. I found he got most of his goals after shrugging off a few hits, then going hard to the net. He can also play the role of a hitter, making him a good player to add balance to a skill line. This brings his overall grade to 6.9 out of 10, or 69%. That's a B-. Kovalchuk is not the same player I remember him to be. He was once a fast winger, with a great physical presence and an amazing shot. Now, he's a slow winger, with a 50-50 shot, but he still has that great physical presence. If you're after Kovalchuk, you should expect him to play in more of a power forward role, maybe a good third or second liner to add grit to the team while maybe sacrificing a little bit of skill. So Stamkos or Kovalchuk? This one's easy. It's got to be Stamkos. He's so close to being a perfect all-around player. He can do anything you ask of him. Scoring, hitting, and even playing defense. So I hope this helped in your quest to build your ultimate team. As usual, feel free to leave your requests for future reviews in the comments. My last two reviews have been of half a million puck players, and I've been asked to do cheaper reviews in the future. So for the next review, I will be taking requests for players that are 300k or under, and I will likely pick those ones for next week. I'll see you then.